Thank you so much for joining us for our song and story time today. Nathaniel's got something he wants to tell us about. I have a tippy tractor and I'm going to show it. A tippy tractor? Yeah. <gasps> oh no, it is a tippy tractor. What are we going to do with that tippy tractor? It bounces and it bounces right over. Oh no. Oh, no, my book is about how animals hide. Would you like to see it? No, not yet. Not yet. We still have to do a song, don't we? Yeah. So we actually have a made-up song this morning. Tip, 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 I'm going on the tractor. Tip, tip, tip your tractor, tip your tractor now. Tippy, 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 oh, be careful now. Oh, we've got somebody coming to see what's going on. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Yeah, look at you. I'm going to sing it again. Tip, tip, tip your tractor, tip your tractor now. Tippy, 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 oh, be careful now. Oh, i got to be careful, guys. Does that look like fun, Andrew? Tip, tip, tip. Okay, Mommy's going to read our book for the day. Let's see. This is a cool book. It says, How Animals Hide. It's a National Geographic Explorer book. Book for young explorers. Does that look good to you, Andrew? This book is written by Robert M. McClung. How Animals Hide. When you play hide-and-seek, how do you hide? Sometimes you duck behind a tree or crawl under a bush. You hide for fun. But animals hide to escape enemies or to catch something to eat. This ocelot can creep up on its prey without being seen because its spotted coat helps it to hide. The spots look like patches of sunlight on leaves in the jungle. But prey may be hiding too and perhaps it will escape. A lioness doesn't see a baby gazelle lying in the tall grass. The fawn curls up and waits for its mother to return. It lies very, very still, hardly twitching an ear. Its spotted coat blends with the leaves of the forest floor. A hungry bobcat or other enemy would have a hard time seeing the fawn. Some arctic animals have white coats to match the ice and snow of their northern homes. White fur helps hide the polar bear. A white coat helps the baby seal hide seal harp and the arctic fox. Look at those nice white coats, Nathaniel. Some birds and hares change their colors with the seasons. During the winter, they are snowy white. When springtime comes, they begin to shed their white coats. Can you see why this hair is also called the snowshoe hair? There's the bird. You can hardly see the bird. But this hair changes its coats. As the sun melts the snow from the ground, the hare grows a new brown coat for summer, and the bird grows a new set of spotted brown feathers to match. Do you see the chick on the mother's back? Look at that. And there is the brown rabbit. The green tree frog hides among green leaves. So does the poisonous tree snake. The yellow spider is hard to see as it waits. Oh, it is hard to see, isn't it? As it waits for a flower... The, on the flower to catch flies. Lots, there it is, right there. See that? Wow. Can you see the spider, Nathaniel? Yeah. How many horned lizards can you find in this picture? The color, this pattern, and the sh spiny flat shape of these reptiles make them very hard to see. As long as this jackrabbit sits very still, a hungry fox may not see it. It takes sharp eyes to see these snakes. The poisonous copperhead blends in with the leaves of the forest floor. The pale desert viper almost disappears on the gr dry ground of its homeland. The adder hides another way. It buries itself. Oh, I think this was the desert viper. The adder buries itself in the sand. Will other animals be able to see it? This peacock flounder seems to be a part of the sea. The strange-looking flatfish can change its spots and colors to match the scenery on the ocean floor. Some insects and other animals look like tree bark. Wow, look at these things. 
It is hard to see the butterfly and moth as they rest on the tree trunk. The gecko matches a branch and so does the Katie did. A yep, Katie did. A screech owl sits tall and straight against the trunk. It seems to be part of the tree. What do you see, guys? We've got a very active group this morning. Yep. A bittern lifts its head high. In this position, it blends with reeds in the swamp. Other animals also hide by taking positions that make them look like things around them. A trumpet fish stands on its head as it hunts for food among the branches of the soft coral. An African grasshopper looks like a blade of grass as it perches on its stem. Are they twigs? Are they leaves? No, they are caterpillars. The measuring worm looks like a broken twig. Four green caterpillars look like part of a cypress tree. Okay, here's the measuring worm. Here's the green caterpillars with lots of thin lacy spines and a stripe down its back. Another caterpillar can almost disappear on a leaf. Wow. Birds learn to fear the yellow jacket. It can sting. Its color and pattern warn birds to keep away. The fly imitates the yellow jacket and fools enemies into leaving it alone. <laughs> the viceroy butterfly has the same trick. It is tasty, but it imitates the pattern of the bad tasting monarch butterfly. Look at that. Going, going, gone. An octopus disappears into a conch shell. Octopuses find homes in safe places. They live in empty homes of anim other animals and under sea caves and in between rocks. An enemy would have a hard time getting this little octopus. How many animals can you think of that hide in shells? Can you name animals that make their own shelter? How many animals can you think of that are often hidden by their colors? If you look closely, you can see for yourself how animals hide. How animals hide. Thank you so much for joining us for our song and story today. We yeah. hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Nathaniel, can you help me sing? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Come back again. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.